check video. I had a mic and a DSLR to do this all properly, but the DSLR is dead and I don't know where my adapter for the GoPro for the mic is. So, here we go. Anyways, I guess the uh, the best thing to start with would be the frame. I have a 2009. No, that's not right. 2011. I have a 2011 uh, Inspired Hex Pro. It still has the same Inspired rims, same spokes, same KMC chain, um, Trial Tech stem, FSA headset, Trial Tech hubs. All that's the same. Um, and the same rear pistons for the HS33. As far as things that have been changed, um, first thing I would have changed had I the resources is this, uh, it came with an Avid Elixir 5 front brake, which uh, is terrible. It's really spongy and it's like, bike shots either are like, they're like okay with it or they hate it for bleeding. It's just a lackluster brake. I would have never learned up the fronts on this and eventually my lever pooped out on me. So that's a thing. I now have Magura MT7s, which I am so, so happy with. They're so nice and they look so pretty. And they're like baby Brembos, except they're Maguras. Anyways, the back, it came with a HS33 piston HS11 um, lever sort of setup. I, I don't, I don't, I, it's weird. I got the four blade HS33s from uh, Tardy Bikes. I did notice when you first get the four blade, you might like um, sort of subconsciously start turning your hand a little, like shifting how you hold it. So for like a good three weeks, the inside of my hand, like right here was killing me. I've changed the cranks. Uh, the cranks are now Shimano Saints. I'm a big dude. I, I kind of hover around the 200 pound zone. Uh, it's just, it's nice to have. Ali C rode them for a while. I actually asked him about it and he said, that he liked the Saints, but they were just too overbuilt. But for me, I, I don't care. I'm not white, so the bike doesn't have to be. Aaron Brown, I know, rides um, Saints, and the only problem is they're about to get really hard to find because they were discontinued in that like size or whatever. On the back, I have, um, in addition to the HS33, I have how Cust. Castellier, these, whatever these are pronounced as. Um, <clears throat> I'm not really a good judge of this thing because this is the only non-crappy brake pad that I've had in the back, but um, so far it's done quite well. And true, truvative, tru trutative, truvative, truvative um, handlebars. I'm going to try to get risers because it just spins on this bike. They just suck, they're impossible. <laughs> I just, no. I, me being 6'3", with like flat handlebars on a trials bike where the nose is as tucked as possible, it's just not happening. Tires, I have Maxxis Holy Rollers, 2.4 inches wide and bald as as all get out. Uh, the front tire has not been changed in the entire four years we've had the bike. Hashtag minimum tread depth life. I ride at 65 PSI in the back and 70 to 75 in the front. Otherwise, it just feels mushy. I think that also might be contributed to the fact that I have super old tires. Oh, I should have really wrote this down somewhere. Pedals, I have the Echo Files pedals. I don't know the name of them are. They're not the titanium ones. I know that for a fact. My shins, my shins can attest to the fact that they are very very grippy, very indeed, yes. I got it because they were the widest pedals that I could find at the time. The only thing I'd have to say is the pins are really annoying. If you don't get them super tight the first time, they're gonna get loose. So if you don't check them like after every two rides, they'll fall out. So I have like three or four missing ones and I've already lost five. So I have to like get another set 
of replacement pins. Um, that's, so that's kind of annoying, but other than that, they're really good. Grips, I have lizard skin logo grips, uh, logo lock on grips, lizard skin logo lock on grips. Alliteration is my friend. <sighs> this is a, a new pair that's waiting to go on. This is what they actually look like before they've been worn down for like two years. Red, because obviously everything else is red, and red is, is, is bread. Red is bread. They're really sticky. They're extremely sticky. If you're driving with them, they will like collect every piece of sediment that has been in the atmosphere on the trip from your start to your destination. They're nice on your hands. Um, I got them because they're really basic. Like they don't have super intricate designs or anything, so they last for a decent amount of time. After like one and a half years, I just turned them and got some like fresh material, so I'm still going. Running out of time on the camera. Uh, it's been a nice bike. Like it lots. Ton. Subscribe. Have a good time. Happy fun times and good riding, and in film. Make stuff look pretty. Nothing means anything. We're all gonna die. Bye then.